So as gardeners, one of the big pests is slugs. Well, I am with Dirk today from the Oregon Slug Trap. And so this is just innovative. It is just wonderful. So tell us about this product because it is just so unique. Thank you. Uh, well, we didn't invent the slug beer trap. That's been around for probably 30 years. Sure, sure. But each trap had its own shortcomings. So what we've done is we've kind of put our favorite features uh, into you know, our version of it. So it's got a solid lid, doesn't come off, but opens easily for filling. Um, it takes beer, you can put any commercial bait in there, but the whole, our, our whole spin on it was, we think the chemicals should stay out of the garden. Right, and you're really so. recommending inexpensive beer. You don't have to yes. use your microbrews on it at all. No, you can use the cheapest beer there is. So Dirk, why would I use this instead of like, I use tuna fish cans in the garden, and so that works fine, but maybe this is a little better? Right, yeah, normally the, the tuna can trap works great as long as it doesn't rain and you never water your garden. Uh, sure. But since you do have to water your garden, you got to keep the water out. And if you look at the shape of it, quite a bit of rain can fall on top and not get in there. So you don't water down your beer, um, keeps the cats out, keeps the dogs out. Sure. And since it has spikes, it's hard to knock over. Right. You saw like a rabbit like jumps on it, there's a good chance it's not going to fall over. Uh, we are experimenting with white now since we that. found that it, the dark color likes to evaporate the beer. Oh. And so we found that uh, we made some rejects out of some white plastic one day and we noticed that the beer lasts you know, quite a bit longer. So Dirk, what kind of beer should we use? Any kind? Uh, lighter beers, oh. uh, something, something see-through. They don't seem to like the dark beer stouts, uh, any kind of a porter, just not, doesn't work as well. Ah, oh, great. And then how often should we change it and clean it out? Well, in the dark ones, uh, every couple to three days, but then we noticed that the beer lasts almost uh, four, four days or more in the white woods. Uh, and then what should we do with those slugs? It just throw them, leave them in the yard, dump them out, or what, is there a good way to dispose of them? Well, they're gonna be saturated in beer, so if you dump them out, the birds might get into them, and that wouldn't be good. Uh, and get drunk birds you know, flying <laughs> into cars. Right. So the best thing is put them in a bucket, and then, uh, or, or put them in the trash. Ah, sure. And then where can we get them? That's the main thing. Well, if you're in Aurora, you can stop at French Prairie Perennials and uh, buy them here, or you can check our Facebook page and contact us uh, there where we're gonna be posting updates on uh, how to buy them. Ah, well, you know, this is a great product. You know, it's sustainable, and also it takes the harsh chemicals out of our gardens. It use something natural, it's beer. So if you have any other questions, please go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to French Prairie Perennials and to Dirk's Facebook page. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.